hi guys welcome back so starting off for this look i'm using this shadow that i got from carity and it's in the shade panama gold and i'm just going to use that as my transition shade i'm putting it above the crease while putting a little bit in the crease and i'm just going to blend it out using this blending brush that i got from wet and wild And yes, my eyes were already primed before the start of this video, so yeah. And going into the Black Radiance Contour Palette, I'm using the contour shade as my transition color. All while dancing at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to put that directly in the crease and blend it out all at the same time. Yeah, so how was you guys Thanksgiving? Because as you can tell from all the dancing and twitching and all that in this video, I was overly excited to do this look, let alone record it. And then on top of that, it was Thanksgiving all at once. So I was excited and my Thanksgiving went lovely. Hope y'all did, did as well. Ooh, little tongue twisted there. Then I'm going into this shadow from Carity as well. It's in the shade Corton. And y'all, this is the best brown shimmer shadow that you can find. As y'all know from previous videos, I've used shimmer shadows before, but those shadows have fallout. The difference between those shadows and this shadow, honey, this shadow has zero zero fallout so I guess that's why it's number one because it has no fallout because they're all the same they're all full they all have shimmer except for you know this one just doesn't have fallout so yeah and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid using a flat eyeshadow brush And then I'm just going back in and blending out those harsh edges and lines. Make sure everything is blended together. And then I'm going back in to Corten and reapply some of that just in case, you know, some of it got wiped away. You want everything to be nice and even and popping. So, yeah. Then going in with this Maybelline eyeshadow, which is my favorite, and apply a coat of that to prep my lashes for um, the eyelashes that I'm going to be using. And the eyelashes that I used was Pretty from Kiss. I apply those off camera. Now I'm doing my foundation, and you know what it is, it's Black Radiance and Cocoa Bean. And I wanted to apply my foundation in a different way today, instead of using my Beauty Blender. So I applied some on my face using the stick that comes in it, then applied a little bit on the back of my hands, and then I'm going in with my brush that I got from e.l.f., dabbing it in there, and dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it on my face and blend it all out. So before I got this beauty blender, the beauty blender that I got, this is how I apply my foundation. In both ways works best for me, so I have no favorite. And then I'm going in with the LA Girl Concealer in Mahogany and concealing under my eyes. And then blend it out with my damp Real Technique sponge. And then taking this um, concealer from Maybelline, it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe. I'm just gonna highlight under my eyes and you know the regular points under my eyes, bridge of nose, cupid bow, chin, and forehead. And today I decided to use this concealer along alone by itself because I just wanted to see how it looked 
on its own because when I first used it I used it with the LA girl concealer but I just decided to see how it looks alone by itself and I loved it and so I just left it alone <laughs> just used it by itself and all so yeah And it blended out so smoothly. So now like I said, this is where I'm highlighting the rest of my face. And dancing all at the same time. And then I just blended all that out. And set it with the Cody Airspine Powder. Because clearly I'm addicted to it. And now taking my pressed powder and l'oreal and from la girl i'm just gonna dust away the translucent powder so brushing away the powder and setting the face all at the same time honey and then because my concealer was too wide i went in with that foundation brush added no extra product and just went on the edges of my nose and now for the interesting part of this video this is my first time contouring on camera let's let that be known and um i'm using the contour shade and the black radiance powder of course but i'm not sure how i feel about it yet and i know when i first got this product i told you i was gonna do a video on it which i am i am gonna do a video on it i promise but i just gotta use it a couple more times because i don't know exactly how i feel about it yet so i can't tell y'all how i feel and not tell y'all if i would get it or not because i'm not sure so just be patient it's coming let me know what y'all think about it so going back into that same palette i'm going to use the highlight shade to highlight my cheekbones and the ridge of my nose as well as my forehead and cupid's bow And now for what I think is, wait, a little too fast. First, I gotta um, put some mascara on these bottom lashes, honey. Can't forget about those. And I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. eyeliner and line these lashes. Well, not the lashes, my waterline, like so. For some reason, these eyelashes was tripping, honey. So, gotta fix those. And put some mascara on those as well to blend my lashes with the false lashes. Don't forget to do that. Now for my favorite part of this video. This is a Black Radiance um, lipstick. And I just fell in love with it. And I thought it was perfect for this look. So I'm just going to apply that and yeah that's basically it for this video going with a q-tip to get that off and that's basically it for this video y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time